Hi there, I'm Aiden from Bitsbox, and we are going to learn how to share your apps with other people. I'm going to show you four different ways to get the apps that you build on your computer onto other people's computers. I'm going to show you how to email them. I'm going to show you how to get a unique address for your app that you can send to other people. I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of your app that's just a picture of what your app looks like on the screen. And most fun, I'm going to show you how to move your apps from your computer to devices like phones and tablets from Apple, and Android, and Amazon uh, by using something called a QR code reader. So let's jump in and do the first one first, which is emailing. This is Birthday Card. It's an app that I built uh, from the very first box I got in Bitsbox. And I think it's perfect for sharing because you can build birthday cards for everybody you know and love. I made a couple of changes to this. I changed the present into a pig because when I hit run. I just think it's hilarious that the pig dances. Uh, the other change I made is I deleted the line of code that plays music because I think music is distracting in a video like this. To share this app, all I have to do is click the sharing icon now. The sharing icon looks like uh, three circles connected by two lines like this. We'll click on that and it says share your app with a big white envelope. So this is how you email it to someone else. I'm going to click on that. Now I want to email this to my grandma. So I'm going to put her email address in the to field, grandma at bitsbox.com. And we automatically put some text in here. It says, here's a link to view my app. Uh, and then that's the unique little thing that she can click on to play the app on her computer or her phone or her tablet or whatever she's using. But I like to put some context text around this text. I like to say, hi, grandma. And then at the end, I'm going to say, love, Aiden. And I'm going to spell my name right. And then I'm going to press that big yellow send button to send the email. And it's off. I wonder what my grandma is going to think of my app. Oh, oh, an email from Aiden. Oh, it's, it's happy birthday. Oh, I love it when he sends me apps. <laughs> I think she liked it. So here we are back in Bitsbox. I'm going to click the sharing icon again. Now this next thing under the envelope is copy link. Here's something you may not know. Every Bitsbox app is actually a completely unique web page. And every web page has its own web address, a bunch of letters and numbers. It starts with bitsbox.com slash and then a bunch of stuff. And it's different for every single app that every single person makes in the world. All I have to do to send this app to someone else, I could email it using the other thing, but I could also just get that address myself so that I can paste it into documents or Facebook or instant messages or whatever I want to do, text messages maybe. And if I want to copy this, I just click this little icon and that copies it to my clipboard on my computer so that I can paste it into wherever else I need it. The next thing I want to show you is called download screenshot. Now a screenshot is just an image of your app. I'm just going to click download screenshot and that just took a picture of my tablet and saved it to my computer and now I can use that for whatever I want to use it for. Here we are. This is the fun part. I'm going to show you what's called zap to gadget. Now this black and white thing on my screen is called a QR code and it's a special symbol that contains the web address for my app and I'm going to use it to get the app from my computer onto my phone. Now my phone already has on it the Bitsbox QR app. You can download this app too. Just go and search for Bitsbox QR on the um, Apple App Store or the Google App Store, the Google Play App Store. Um, all you have to do is install that app. Now I've already installed the app, so I'm just going to open it up and you'll see what it looks like here. There's sort of a camera view so you can see the rest of where Bitsbox is here. There's a little yellow target. It says aim your camera at a Bitsbox QR code. So I'm just going to aim my device at the QR code right here on the computer. And it's going to think for a little bit. And there it is. There's the app I built. It says happy birthday. And it's as simple as that. So that's how you share your app with other people. You can email it. You can get a unique address that you can copy paste into other apps. You can take a screenshot. Or most importantly, you can actually move your app onto other devices like tablets and phones to play your apps that you build uh, here instead of there, or in addition to here and there. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Thanks.